Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Nicole here. I have a treat for you today. I really do. I have been growing bananas. Now, this banana tree, I think it's a Cavendish banana. I'm not 100% sure, but I do believe that it is. It's not very uh, high. It's about maybe 10 feet, 12 feet max. I mean, they do banana trees do grow much higher, but this one isn't as high, so you're able to, to gather the bananas quite readily. And one day, I was actually coming out, just walking about, checking on everything as you do, and I looked over at the bananas and I noticed they were ripe. I was pleasantly surprised. Take a look. Can you see the bananas there? Look how many there is. A whole bunch of them. Absolutely wonderful. There are, they look, well, all of them actually look green. I'm trying to move a little bit of these dead branches out of the way. I thought I actually could pull it down, but it was a, a little tough, so I wasn't able to. But, um, you know, while I'm looking, because, you know, they say that there's spiders in, inside the bananas, well, banana growing, but I'm just squeezing them here to actually see if any of them are ripe. And... Um, those green ones don't appear ripe, but as I'm looking towards the, the side now, I actually see a few of them are ripe. So I'm actually going to go and pick one. So that's what I did there. I'm going to pick one and then we're going to see if that banana is actually ripe because this must weigh at least 40 pounds, I would say. So I've picked a banana now and um, hopefully it doesn't have a bug in there. So I'm just in the greenhouse now and I'm going to look for a knife, get that washed and let's cut this open. Just get it washed first though. Now I am hoping that that little bug or something doesn't go all the way down the banana. So let's see when we cut it. Now look, you know how surprised I was when I saw that this banana was so... Um, clear all the way through. I'm just going to slice it now and just see whether there's anything in there and there's nothing in there. It's not a blemish at all. So here's the banana that I sliced and I'm actually going to take a taste and I am absolutely shocked because it tastes like a banana. That's why I'm laughing. I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, what is it going to taste like? But obviously it's going to taste like a banana, but it's not just a banana, an absolutely fabulous banana. Now, yeah, unfortunately, you're going to have to watch me while I finish this banana because this was absolutely fantastic. No chemicals, grown extremely healthy, water, fish emulsion, just wonderful. And now I'm going to look, see if there's any more. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. And there is there's a few more ripe. So this is absolutely splendid. I am I am so excited. Um, this is just a huge milestone to grow these uh, these bananas. The leaves you can see there. You can actually use them as a wrap. They use them to wrap uh, rice, various different little uh, you know snacks and meals. So uh, as long as you give it a good wash. That's fine. These are the bananas after a few days. You can see that we've been eating them. These are ripe, so I'm going to be taking some more off. But as we go down, they're not quite ripe yet. But So they ripen from the top. That's what it appears to be doing. And as you go further down, they're still a little green. We do have a whole lot that's green here at the top. Can you see all the way around there? All the way around to the other side. And then this is the large stem here. I think that's what we're calling it, the stem. So it's actually really sturdy to hold this many bananas. I'm not sure how much that is, but maybe it's at least 40 pounds. Um, and it's funny because they go round in like a circle, like a spiral. You can see here, there's they go round. And the same as they go round all the way down the banana tree. So, um, get some bananas. This banana tree has produced bananas. I think this is the second time. The first time 
there was a frost they were they weren't quite ripe but then um, a frost came in and the bananas died this spring um, we did have a frost but it just seemed to be hidden in a certain way so they weren't um, they weren't damaged they were protected and now we have bananas I'm so excited about this because this has been um, you know um, I haven't done an extremely um, strenuous amount of work growing these bananas but I have watered them I have when I've drained the fish tanks and watered them uh, with the fish water so uh, they produce which is super super exciting you can see the banana tree here this is on the other side and you have little new ones coming up so you have a new banana tree coming up there then we have another one coming here now all these dead leaves I've actually seen people making um, baskets out of this maybe that's something I could do um, but that's probably for another video and then if we look over here we have another one coming up there see that one there so there is a lot and as you can see if you look just there where the bananas are just there so everybody grow some bananas they're so simple very very little work was involved with growing these bananas um, if you make like a little dip where the base of the banana is where it's growing so when you get a very heavy rainfall a lot of the water will just go down into that little dip around the banana tree and because they do take a lot of water but um, just plant them you know get a few just plant them over your property if you have if you have the land because uh, they will produce um, this one's not very is not very high I'd say maybe um, 10 feet but I mean obviously they do get they do get a, a lot higher um, in height but it's well well worth it because the amount of bananas that you get after is just absolutely super so I'm I'm excited so uh, grow some fruit, grow some vegetables, grow some bananas, well worth it, full of uh, antioxidants, fiber, gives you lots of energy, and um, they're lovely to make banana pudding, uh, banana bread, so lots of different options there. So take care, take care, bye for now, and see you next time. Thanks for all the new subscribers. Bye-bye. God loves you.